Hey, what's up guys? A uh, quick video for you, also on my phone instead of in the studio. I'm um, just trying to get this one done before I send it out. Um, I'm going to have some work done on it, so I wanted to show it in its original form. But I got a Grimsmo Saga pen, finally. It's the packaging. You guys can pause and read that if you haven't seen it before, but it's probably on one of John's videos or some other reviewer's video. Here is what came in the box. So, sticker. And the pen in the box. Side of the box. Bottom of the box. Reverse side. There you go. Get this out of the way. All right. So there it is. It slides open, it's on a magnetic piece here, so that's what keeps it closed. So, so push it that way. And here it is. So one refill uh, for the ink cartridge, and then the pen itself. Move this out of the way. I'll show the bottom side. That's it, there's the magnet piece. All right, so here is the pen. It's titanium. It came this way. There was no choice as far as the combos uh, for it. It just is what it is. And to give you my experience on it, um, I believe it was well over two years ago that John announced these and that maybe the first ones came out just two years ago, maybe at that Blade Show or just before that. You had to get on a list on his website, and if you were randomly drawn, you got the chance to buy one. I have been on that list since it was first conceived, so I've basically been waiting over two years. My name got picked, I believe, in early July, and I got this a few days after that um, when I accepted it. It showed me what the picture of it was. It's obviously stonewashed titanium, no anodization, and then the collar itself is anodized gold. And Saga, number 495. You can see Crimson Knives 2020. This is how it works. You push in the plunger, the pen comes out. And to release the plunger, you pull the collar down. Not a lot else to really show on it. Um, reason I'm doing this quick video is I'm going to mail this out today to Thai Survival because I want to get it anodized. I'm going to try to match it up to my Grimsmo Norseman that I have, which is basically a light anode green color with purple accents. And so that's my goal here, to anode the main body green and then to anode the pocket clip and the collar purple and the end nose piece purple too to match that probably leave the plunger the way it is or if it can be anodized I guess green to match the body so just quick video there uh, size comparison here is it versus a regular pen super light love the titanium lightweightness to it and for a knife comparison here is my CRKT CEO And there you go. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.